In this first part of the video, I'm going to show how I did the basic jump animation. So what I did is I just put a static animation pose so that I can check, check the jump curve, as you can see it here. So I just use this to fiddle around with the values until I get something that I like so that the character jumps to the height that I need him to be at and that he moves a specific distance along the track when he's jumping. And I don't have an animation running because it hides the movement of the jump curve, I guess, with the gravity. And so by having the static animation, you can see how how he's truly moving through the world when he jumps. And I use it to make quick tweaks to, say, the start velocity. And eventually I got something that I liked. So in the second part of the video, I'll show the animations that I've integrated so that he'll look like he's jumping more naturally than what he is doing now. But I still thought that it would be useful to show how I develop the jump. In this part of the video, I'm going to show the jump animations that I've implemented in the player controller. And I'll just swipe up so that you can see some of them. So he's functioning under the effects of gravity. And as you can see, I made the shadow disappear when he moves farther up in the air. It just seemed to look a lot nicer. And he just randomly pay, plays some jump animations that I've coded in the controller. I use a finite state machine to go from state to state. So right there, you saw him do his roll. And I guess that's an old and tried and true method of doing this sort of thing. But it works, and I can make everything as complicated as I want as long as everything is self-contained in each state. I There's no interdependencies between the states. Then it's easy to manage whatever complexity I come up with. So there you can see. One thing, I, I forgot to implement the uh, somersault animation before I made this video, but I figured I'd just go along with it anyways. You can see pretty much what the jump looks like. So it's just the effects of gravity. So that's what I have to show for this video. And in the next video, I'm going to implement strafing when he's up in the air. So he'll move to the other track. And uh, that's what I'll show in the next video. So for now, that's what I have to show. Thanks and bye.